Good morning and welcome to the Okinawate Karate Organisation New Zealand Hongu Dojo. This morning we're looking at part two of the five basic blocks. Just to recap on the last session, so starting into Cuba Dutch, drawing hands onto the rib and we were cutting across the belt and driving up for the upper block, drawing across the belt and up block, drawing across the belt, up block, across the belt, up block, across the belt and upper block. And then we had on that, right to left, pivot to two o'clock. Sliding back, draw the hand on the rib, cut across the belt, upper block, step right to left, pivot to 10 o'clock, slide forward into angle stance, cut across the belt, up block, step back, pivot to two o'clock, slide back, cut across the belt, upper block, and then from there we went to slide together, pivot to two o'clock, step back, draw the hand on the rib, cut across the belt, upper block, turn the hand on the rib, this punch, across the belt, up a block, stepping together, cut it to 10 o'clock, slide forward into ankle stance, cut across the belt, up a block, turn the hand on the rib, first punch, cut across the belt, and up a block. And obviously, moving back. So back, forth, and back and forth. Okay, this morning we're going to look at the outward block. The outward block is an interesting one because it uses the clock. So going into Cuba Dutch, Drawing both hands on the ribs, again, your right hand will be my left hand. So, you're going to cut across the belt, quarter circle out to your right side. Okay, noting, wrist eye level, elbow and hand are for a post vertical, and the elbow and the shoulder are directly in line with each other. So, with your left hand, cut across the belt, draw back, quarter movement to the outward block position. Good. Okay, this time, your right hand, cut across the belt, draw, outward block, across the belt, draw, outward block, cut across the belt, draw, outward block, cut across the belt, draw, outward block. So, you might be wondering what the draw is. From this position, when we come for the block, what we will notice. One, we do a block here. This hand moves out of the way from the front while this one's clearing, but this is also striking to the rear. So for example, someone's dragging from behind, elbow strike here, coming straight into the rib cage or into the solar plex. If you're in the solar plex to win them, if you push your hand into this foot here, Pushing in, you'll notice that it's soft, even for those of us that work out this area quite strongly, doing sit-ups, uh, crunches, etc., and conditioning. This point here is always the soft spot. And it's just a matter of being able to take the impact. But on the general average person who doesn't really condition themselves in this area, this part here is where your hand goes in, Okay, it's the soft spot. Don't push it in too far. You may make yourself sick. Okay, so that's the point we're aiming for, or in this case, the rib cage here, the gravity like this. If it's this way, then it's an easier access for that solar plex. Okay, so again, from this position here, we begin with the outer block or any of the basic blocks, and this hand's driving to the rear, it's here, so it's striking. Okay, that's just a little bit of insight for you. So let's get back to the outward block moving with the angle stances. So informal, slide right to left, pivot to two o'clock, step back to right leg, draw, close the right hand, draw, left hand closes, cut across the belt, quarter circle outward to the shoulder, noting the wrist and eye level, elbow and hand, the one post, and the elbow and shoulder in line with each other. Okay, then we step forward, right to left, then pivot to 10 o'clock. So I form the angle stance, cut across the belt, draw, upper block, step back, pivot to 2 o'clock, step back again, cut across the belt, draw, and upper block. Now we'll make a movement to all one, so it becomes stepping, pivot, slide forward, upper block, step 
back, pivot, side back into starts, out block. Pivot forward, pivot, side forward, out block. Sit me back, pivot, starts, out block. Notice even when it's done quicker, this still comes across this level here. So from this point here. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to move it through block, punch, block. Step through, block, punch, block, step back, block, punch, block. Follow along, so right to left, come to two o'clock again, slide back to angle start, Let's draw the right hand back on the rope, close the left, cut across the belt, outward block, turn the right hand on the rope, reverse punch, cut across the belt, outward block, slide right to left, come to 10 o'clock, slide forward, angle right to stance, cut across the belt, Outward block, turn the hand on the rope, wrist punch, cut across the bar, outward block, get your back, come up to two o'clock, slide back to angle stance, cut across the bar, outward block, turn the hand on the rope, wrist punch, cut across the bar, outward block. Okay. okay, I hope that helps you out with the basic blocks for number two. Uh, please. Subscribe to our video. We always like to see people coming along and joining up with us. Uh, until then, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.